show me everything. 255 here, what up, what up? I feel like Tupac in the studio with all these reveals this week. <laughs> Take a look at this new cat. It's big boy season, man. We just had uh, the Secretary of Absolute Defense and Guilty Gear. Now we got another big boy here in SNK. Let's take a look at him. He's big. He's massive. He's big as a on T1. Two strikes. He's probably a grappler. Okay. Uh, okay. Up for two leaves. Ha! I love that super. I love that super. Okay, he's got a lot of strikes. Oh, he's got a lot of strikes. Not many, but he's definitely a brawler. I was expecting more grab moves because of his size, but he got he got a lot of striking moves. Yeah. Okay, so I misunderstood him. He's more of a brawler type than he is an attacker. Let's take a look at some of his moves and uh, have a breakdown here. Okay. And it's coming off of every system. They want their money. Okay, SNK, I hear you. Antonov. Antonov. Let's take a look at some of these moves. All right, looking at his moves, he's got some big boy strikes. He had way more strikes than I expected. I really wonder how fast his frame data is. And I'm also wondering if these are, are normals, but a lot of his moves seem to be meant to knock the opponent away. So I don't know how heavy he is going to be as it regards doing damage and, and multiple string combos. Again, another move that looks like he's going to knock the opponent away. So, yep, most of his moves are just dedicated to knocking opponents away. That's a very interesting original uh, projectile is what we'll call that. I, I wonder if those hits in the air are anti. This looks like that could be his anti-projectile, but that projectile, man, that is original. And that move does a wall bounce. Has, if that's an anti, that's an anti that does a wall bounce. But he doesn't look like he has a lot of grapple moves that he can, he can build off that with. I love this super. I don't know if this is level three or level one. Most likely it's level one because it wasn't a big cinematic cutscene. But him flexing on the opponent three times is enough to make me want to play him. Just look at that nonsense. I love it. I absolutely love it. How can you not love a super like that? But the play your style. It's funny that SNK decided to go with this character considering how angry people were about Luke. Yeah, he has a lot of strikes. Okay, he's got he's got some combos, light, looks like a light, 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 into his anti-air, but that didn't wall bounce. I wonder if it has to EX. It makes a very interesting character in SNK. Okay, that definitely like uh, a level one or EX. But he's definitely a brawler. I had him mismatch. I love that level one. Oh, he didn't do the three strikes. Interesting. That, that looks like a pretty interesting overhead. That must be another level one. He launches them in the air. Use the EX. Okay, followed by another kick. Some type of cancel into another anti air. Let's see if it wall bounces. Uh, no, but go flat on the ground. Oh, he went into the projectile. And, and, and attacked again. Interesting. That projectile has so many interesting uses I'm wondering about at this time. Because uh, it didn't hit in the air. It could be used as an anti-air. I'm not sure about the properties, but there's a lot of time to react to that. So I wonder what the reward is for using that or what the logic is behind moving, using a move like that. He's Definitely a lot has a lot more character than another blonde hair character we saw earlier speaking Luke, but hey, you're here to play King of Fighters, so am I. This is 255 out. Peace.